of our offering all month will be going to the local food pantry. For those who can give, we've put some options for donating into the chat box. And donate buttons are also available in the Sunday service email you received this morning. And whether we have the means to contribute money or not, we can all keep those who are hungry in our hearts today. As Anne and Cindy Leno sing with us, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. No one stands alone, we stand side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. That's way too low. <laughs> Little low there. For all those whose lives have nurtured us by the Reverend Victoria Weinstein, we reflect in thanksgiving this day for all those whose lives have nurtured ours. The life giving ones who heal with their presence, who listen in sympathy, who give wise advice, but only when asked for it. We're grateful for all those who have mothered us, who have held us gently in times of sorrow, who celebrated with us our triumphs, no matter how small, who noticed when we changed and grew who praised us for taking risks, who took genuine pride in our success, and who expressed genuine compassion when we did not succeed. On this day that honors mothers, let us honor all nurturers, generous souls who from somewhere in their being have freely and wholeheartedly given life and sustenance and vision to us. Divine goodness, grant us life-giving ways, strength for birthing, and a nurturing spirit, that we may take attentive care of those precious beings entrusted to us by biology, or by destiny, or by friendship, fellowship, or fate. Give us a mothering heart today. Amen and blessed be. Praise song for the pandemic. Praise be the nurses and doctors, every medical staff bent over flesh to offer care, for lives saved and lives lost, for showing up either way. Praise for the farmers tilling soil, planting seeds so food can grow, an act of hope if ever there was. Praise be the janitors and garbage collectors, the grocery store clerks and the truck drivers barreling through long, quiet nights. Give thanks for bus drivers, delivery persons, postal workers, and all those keeping an eye on water, gas, and electricity. Blessings on our leaders making hard choices for the common good, offering words of assurance. Celebrate the scientists working a way to understand the thing that plagues us, to find an antidote, and all the medicine makers. Praise be the journalists keeping us informed. Praise be the teachers, finding new ways to educate children from afar and blessings on parents holding it together for them. 
Blessed are the elderly and those with weakened immune systems, all those who worry for their health, praise for those who stay at home to protect them. Blessed are the domestic violence victims on lockdown with abusers, the homeless and refugees. Praise for the artists and poets, the singers and storytellers, all those who nourish with words and sound and color. Blessed are the ministers and therapists of every kind, bringing words of comfort. Blessed are the ones whose jobs are lost, who have no savings, who feel fear of the unknown nine. Blessed are those in grief, especially who mourn alone. Blessed are those who have passed into the great night. Praise for police and firefighters, paramedics, and all who work to keep us safe. Praise for all the workers and caregivers of every kind. Praise for the sound of notifications, messages from friends reaching across the distance. Give thanks for laughter and kindness. Praise be our four-footed companions with no forethought or anxiety, responding only in love. Praise for the seas and rivers, forests and stones who teach us to endure. Give thanks for your ancestors, for the wars and plagues they endured and survived. Their resilience is in your bones and your blood. Blessed is the water that flows over our hands and the soap that helps keep them clean each time a baptism. Praise every moment of stillness and silence so new voices can be heard. Praise the chance at slowness. Praise be the birds who continue to sing the sky awake each day. Praise for the primrose poking yellow petals from dark earth. Blessed is the air clearing overhead so one day we can breathe deeply again. And when this has passed, May we say that love spread more quickly than any virus ever could. May we say this was not just an ending, but also a place to begin. Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. For years, those words struck dread into my heart. I used to go to church and hear about the one way to mother, the way that was so perfect, the way that never lost their cool, <clears throat> never yelled at a child, always made Halloween costumes from scratch and cookies and, and, and everything unattainable by me. <laughs> and I would end up really wondering if I was even fit to be a mother. Until the Mother's Day that what my oldest son was asked to give the tribute to his mother. It was a little different tribute than the other tributes you heard about all the perfect mothers, and I was so grateful. He read a little poem that started out, Darling dear, whose hands upset the teacups and break things. And I thought, oh my goodness. And it ended with, I love you. I love you because of all that. It was so lovely and so wonderful and so real. I've been busy reclaiming Mother's Day ever since. I think that you use especially have been moving away from that one way to mother or other things as well for many years now. <laughs> recognizing the worth and dignity, recognizing justice, the marginalized, the many ways to do family. And we, re we reflect that in our Mother's Day readings. 
And so I hope everyone who hears Happy Mother's Day today can hear that as Happy Nurturer's Day. Happy Creator of a New Life Together Day. Because we are creating a new life together. A new world is gestating. We are the mother. And we are the new creation forming in the nurturing embrace of divine love. There is a love holding us. Call it God or goddess, Gaia or universe, Buddha nature or better angels, human nature or that which is greater than us all. This love is real and it both holds us and calls to us. Despite discord and hate, love is spreading more quickly than any virus. This is not just an ending. It is also a beginning. As is always true when new life is gestating, we are partners with the natural forces of Earth. What many people think of as Mother Earth, which in my mind evokes not a specific gender, but a quality of creating new life. As we grow and develop into something new, both we and the forces of nature hold and are held in the loving, nurturing embrace of all this amazing, wonderful, interconnected web of which we are a part. As is always true, when new life is gestating, we often feel distracted and tired. This is not surprising when you realize we're busy building a new sense of normal, making new meaning because old mental models aren't working anymore. The old signposts have moved or even disappeared. It's no wonder that many of us have trouble remembering what day it is. As is often true, when new life is gestating, we are susceptible to fear and worry and anxiety. I remember when I was pregnant with my first child, the quickest way to get my full attention was for someone to begin recounting all that was painful and dangerous about their own experience of motherhood. I had to filter out who to listen to, so that I was informed and forewarned, but not paralyzed with fear. I find myself kind of in the same situation right now regarding the world. Instead of looking at all the possible things that could go wrong, I need to mindfully, I need to remind myself to spend more time looking at the marvelous, wonderful possibilities that are growing right now. And remember that I am held in the love of a family, a church community, and all of the helpers whose praises were sung in our video clip this morning. We hold each other in love. We are determined to hold each other in love. The Reverend Frederick Buchner said, to remember my life is to remember countless times when I might have given up, but I didn't. I have not given up. And each of you, with all the memories you have and the tales you could tell, you also have not given up. You also are survivors and are here. And what does that tell us, this surviving? It tells us that weak as we are, a strength beyond a strength has pulled us through at least this far, at least to this day. Foolish as we are, a wisdom beyond our wisdom has flickered up just often enough to light us if not to the right path through the forest, at least to a path that leads forward and is inevitable. Faint of heart as we are, a love beyond our power to love has kept our hearts alive. We will not give up, my friends. We look to the love holding us, 
the love in each of our hearts for our fellow humans and our Mother Earth. We rest in the love of our families and our community and the millions of people who are doing their best in incredibly difficult conditions. We are all nurturers and we are all nurtured, held in love, that most divine and life-giving attribute of our wonderful world. There is a love holding me and you and every one of us, every human and sparrow and rock and tree, there is a love holding us. May you take good care and may you carry with you the comfort of knowing that you are held in the embrace of divine love today and every day. And now, after Caroline extinguishes our chalice, We'll play again, There is a Love, from our wonderful choir, and sing along if you'd like to, Caroline. We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. Sit Blessed be. In a moment, you'll be invited into one of our coffee hour breakout rooms where we'll have about seven minutes to chat and catch up with each other. And then you'll get a notice that your room will close in one minute and then we'll come back together in this main Zoom room to mingle a bit more if you wish and say our goodbyes. And I'll hang out here in the main room and see you all when you get back. Pam, can you unmute everybody? Well, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yep. <laughs> hey, Dick. Hi, Linda. So glad you're here with us today. Well, 
I was glad to be here. I look at all my, my good friends there. <laughs> how are you guys? We're good. I want to show you. I want to show you how beautiful the flowers you gave me still are, and they are a focus of my.